2018 video in 2019? Blasphemy! It's that time of year again, or well, past it, where I list down all my favorite cartoons of the year and piss off an entire subsection of my audience by adding anime or not ranking their favorite show as high as they want. This year is gonna be worse, so you've been warned. As per usual, I must preface that this list is entirely my own opinion and preferences and in no way am I claiming that these are the best shows of 2018. This is just my personal best. So don't whine when you find out that Miraculous is not number one, cause I'm telling you right now, it's not. As usual, these videos will be ranked from 10 to one, that's how ranking works. And this year I decided to give an edge if a cartoon is new or has debuted this year it will rank more highly above ongoing continuity -us shows continuity -us? continuity us there is a word there I know it I just can't think of it right now last little disclaimer is I haven't been able to watch every single cartoon show in 2018 that shit is impossible so you're probably not gonna to see shows like Total Drama Daycare or Drama Rama or whatever, which I just could not get around to watching last year and I'm so disappointed by it. You won't see shit like Rick and Morty, Voltron, Bojack Horseman because your girl ain't no basic bitch. OKKO OK doesn't air much in my country and Apple and Onion and Craig of the Creek just started airing. So you won't see those as well. Okay? We good? We all caught up? Now let's just get this over with. Number 10 Cells at work. Yes, it's an anime. Get over it. Cells at work Cells at work is an anime that came out in 2018 and it just it just worked for me for whatever reason I really liked it I really could not wait to see what happened next and it just it taught me more than six no three years of biology classes in high school ever could have I was intrigued I liked the premise I liked the world and I really do love the characters so freaking much and out of all the shows it deserve to at least be on my list this is the thing with top 10 lists it's not a battle of okay which one is number one it's okay which one gets on the list because getting on the list is the battle this show proved that everything above it is good but everything it was better than everything else that couldn't make the list number nine Emara. Now, a shit ton of you might not even know what the heck this is. You might be thinking, okay, TVC, did you did you sneeze or something? No, Emara is a online cartoon, I guess. It's it's up on YouTube, all five episodes, and it's about an Emirati superhero, a Muslim superhero. I was so happy when the show crossed my path. It, the girl said Eid Mubarak or Eid Karim, Eid something. Eid Mubarak in the video and I just kept freaking out because it was the first time ever that my religion was celebrated in a cartoon and it was the base it was a plot it was everything and I loved it so much and Imara just it would have been higher if it was longer and it did I watched it earlier last year so shows that actually came out towards the beginning of the year will kind of rank low lower unless they really knocked my socks off number eight life is like a hurricane here in Duckburg. race cars lasers airplanes it's a duck blur. Mm. 
DuckTales. Now, DuckTales is a show that I have mixed feelings about because I never watched the original DuckTales as people like to hammer on about. This is the only DuckTales I'm familiar with. And from what I have seen, it is really good. And the last few episodes really knocked my socks off. I haven't seen every episode of DuckTales, but I really like the finale. I really like the twist at the finale. And that's basically the reason why it's here. I I probably should have even ranked it lower. I probably should have even ranked it lower than Amara and Cells at Work. But animation, quality, storytelling, it really worked. Number seven. <laughs> Human, kind of. This was a show that started airing in the fall and I loved it. The jokes, the humor, it was a show that just felt specifically geared towards me and my mentality and my twisted and all hell way of thinking like i said in my review for this it's like simpsons or family guy but for women it's like an adult cartoon for women who have a dark sense of humor and it just worked for me in every conceivable way the animation looks weird as all hell but it works and the people behind it know what they're doing and they know the audience they're talking to and they have our attention in a vase tight grip. Number six. It is a tie between In the daytime, I'm Marinette. Just a normal girl with a normal life. But there's something about me that no one knows yet. Because I have a secret. Miraculous and Now, <laughs> Miraculous was really big for me this year. It's the reason why my channel is growing so rapidly. But at the same time, it didn't really pull any punches. There was no secrets that were revealed. That's my problem with Miraculous. We never get surprised. We always know what's going to happen. If to say Anansi, Sapratois, however you pronounce that, and the queen's battle was kept on a hush hush and was just like revealed we didn't know it was going to happen and we didn't know what was going to happen in those episodes trust me miraculous would have been number one and i value a show that can surprise me and make me go what the absolute hell than a show that just does things and that's one thing that miraculous has to fix in the future if it wants to rank higher but even though I know a lot of things that are going to happen, it's still really good and I still really appreciate what it presents and the story it tells. Because I think the show is trying to go for, okay, we don't want you to focus on the action superhero parts, we want you to focus on the characters and that's why it was really hard for me to rank Miraculous but I think number 6 for me is the best spot. And it shares that spot with another anime that if it hadn't been on this list I would have lost my freaking mind and that is Free. Free season 3 debuted in the summer of 2018 and oh dear lord it had some mixed reviews. Some people hated it so much. Some people loved it so much and I am a mixed bag and I would watch an episode, I'd love it, I'd go online and read reviews and my whole perception of the damn thing will change which is something I really told myself I won't do again because I hate when people ruin my enjoyment of something with little nitpicks. Yes, season 3 wasn't focused on what we wanted it to focus on but it told a story and the story focused on one of the movies that I personally haven't watched but it still doesn't stop the fact from that movie canonically exists so this story was bound to happen did some plot lines take longer than usual to finish up yes did I still like the fan service fucking yes <laughs> I love anything that has to do with these characters and for the love of God 
can these show creators please kill the Haru and Rin ship? The teasing is too much. We already know Haru and Mako are dating. They are the OTP. Kill that other ship. Let those people let those people down gently. They are destroying everything for us people over here. But yeah, free was really good. Really enjoyed it. But it could have been better. But it just it wasn't. So number six for you. Number five. Okay, now we're getting into the big boys. Number five is Star versus the forces of evil. Now, the reason Star is so low is because when the season finale for season 3 came out, I was thinking, oh my god, Star is gonna be number one or two on my list this year. Like, I was blown away, even though the finale was spoiled for me and I fucking hate the person who did it. I hate clip channels. Can YouTube just kill all of those bastards for us, please? They are ruining everything. Like, I don't mind if you put part one, two, and three for people who can watch it in the geographical regions, but people who specifically just put in that juicy clip and then put in that thumbnail that ruins it, what is your purpose on this earth? Okay, rant over. <laughs> Calm down, TVC. So, even though the finale was ruined for me, I still greatly, vastly, superiorly enjoyed the finale and season 3 as a whole, how it led up, what it set up, but because it happened so far into the beginning of the year and I haven't really gone back and watched it, Star has to be number 5 for now because the hiatus is just too long. I like where it left off, I like the little bit of closure we got, kind of, but it still is a really long hiatus, but damn that finale though. Number four is another tie between Castlevania and Again, an almost show and an anime. Hey, so Castlevania. I'm just. I'm not gonna like, you know, pull back any punches. It disappointed me, but not in the way that you think. Castlevania disappointed me in the sense that season two was phenomenal, but it wasn't what I came for. It season one set me up for this action-packed fighting whatever type ish, and then season two was more. Game of Thrones than Castlevania and again I loved it I'm here for it but it wasn't what I was expecting and that was why by the end when they were having the final fight scene I couldn't even get invested because I was already invested in the whole Game of Thrones plot line so I had a conflict of interest in that aspect and I was just so confused by the end because Castlevania I'm not gonna spoil it for you but it ranked really high in last year's top 10 cartoons list so I really wanted it to be number one but I cannot lie to myself no matter how hard I try it is not number one for me it disappointed and I have to be honest with myself in the fact that it did disappoint but it was still really good don't get it twisted now attack on titan another show that was really good but still for whatever reason disappointed me i'm like i've already read the manga i know what's gonna happen so why is it not number one it had some fantastic as all hell animated sequences the best ones of the year by far if i was ranking things on animation alone attack on titan would get number one hands fucking down but Something was just missing something. I don't know Season 2 ranked really highly as well in my last in 2017's video So I don't know what I, I had so many Cartoons these years that I already just put it in my head like okay. This is number one. This is number two And by the time I watch them, I'm like you're all disappointing me Why though? like 
why <laughs> so i'm over here like i don't know what to do with myself i don't know what to think but i have to be honest attack on titan something was missing i don't know what it is maybe it's because the they didn't end where they were supposed to end they cut it in half because they only heard, aired half of the season and they said oh well the other half is now season four maybe that's why maybe the way they chose to animate some things and they even added some more sequences there was a chapter i apparently missed which was an episode in and of itself maybe it was because they had more to work with so they were cutting out some certain storylines which could alter your perspective if you're just an anime watcher it could be multiple things but shit was still good it's still in my top four. Oh my god like whoo, that was a good that, this was a good season i'm not gonna lie now for this for my last top three i actually made a little bit of alterations number two was number three and number three was number two but i just have to change it because yeah so coming in at number three is we're on the edge of greatness turning darkness to light we're right beside you ready to fight we're gonna win in the end Shira and the princesses of power now Shira was number two and it wasn't sitting right with me and as i was recording this video i just had to bump it back down to number three because this can't do that. I can't do that to the one that was supposed to be number three. Number three is supposed to be number two. Anyway, Shira and the Princess of Power aired this fall, last fall, sorry, and it freaking dominated. Oh, dear lord. Oh my goodness. It just came out of left field and just punched every other cartoon out of the competition, which is weird because it wasn't really that great. It was okay, but. It wasn't that great but I don't know Shira just had something it had what I was looking for I value cartoons that make me feel like a child again on the inside over cartoons that have this grand I don't like cartoons that punch a message down my throat I don't like cartoons that's like accept this thing and it's like yes I know what you're advocating for is good but Please don't try and beat me up to make me agree with you. It's supposed to be a cartoon. First and foremost, cartoons are supposed to be aimed towards children. Yes, I'm an adult. Yes, a lot of you watching this are adults. And I know a lot of adults don't like to be told that watching cartoons is for kids or your child is for watching cartoons. But at the end of the day, the cartoons, a lot of them are aimed towards kids. And cartoons that kind of like cartoons within this decade anyway a lot of them kind of leave kids behind and try and gain an older audience because the older audience can spend money on merch and all that other nonsense and the kids are kind of left wondering well what happened to me which is why i don't think a lot of people understand the appeal towards shows like teen titans go because it's the only sh one of the only few shows left that gears towards kids between the age of four and eight and what people don't understand is kids within that demographic are kind of growing out of Nick Jr. and Disney Jr. and they want to start getting into more mature-ish cartoons but they're not looking for stuff like Steven Universe and Star Versus because they don't appeal to kids of that age. My sister only started watching Steven Universe and Star Versus when she turned 9, 10 but she couldn't stand those shows when she was younger. So with She-Ra, it's a show that my sister was just walking past my laptop and she saw it and she just stopped and she just would not leave and that is something that i like something that okay a kid can just see from across the room and goes i want to watch that i don't want to leave the room till i finish seeing what that's about it's brightly colored it has a lot of happy it has a lot of good role models Bo, beautiful role models <laughs> and it's just it's just a cartoon. It has enough lighthearted humor for a kid to get behind and it has a lot, enough, enough serious tones to not confuse a child. Or yeah, maybe it's because my sister is already 10. So if she was 7, she might not, have, might not have liked it. But I don't know. Again, this was just pure. It was food for the soul. I needed a cartoon like this after cartoons with so many 
deeper themes and this one was just so fun it was just fun to watch now driving straight home into our number two spot is we are the crystal gems we'll always save the day and if you think we can we'll always find a way steven universe like oh boy i was comfortable putting steven universe at number three but as i was recording it I was like, nah, bitch, you ain't doing this to me. And now Diamond Days is coming out. I'm sure Diamond Days is gonna do something that's gonna make me putting Steven Universe as number three come out as blasphemy. Especially because of how poorly Steven Universe did last year. Or should I say last two years? Whatever. The, the sole reason why Steven Universe is number two on my list is because of the scene. I can't believe I'm going to do this. I can't exactly shatter myself. Yeah. That rose pink diamond ish is gonna go down in fucking history as the biggest twist cartoon twist I have ever experienced. I was losing my mind. It was so good. I loved it so much. How? How? Like, this twist broke a section of the internet. Well, well, it broke a section of the fandom. For fucking sure. I loved it so much. I so much respect to the Cronoverse for doing this. It's still controversial to this day. But fuck all those people. Get on the pink diamond train. Best diamond of all time. Oh my god. But yeah. Diamond Days is coming out. We're almost. Battle of Hearts and Mind might even be out. By the time this video comes out. So. That episode am I right? <laughs> but yeah. Steven Universe is number two. I just can't even think of any other reason to validate it. The only reason it is number two is because of the Pink Diamond reveal. All other episodes were good. They were okay. Reuni reunited. Yeah, we have that, I guess. I don't want to go too deeply into this because the fandom has spited me, has attacked me and all that stuff. And I could have just been spiteful and not even put Steven Universe on this list. But the show is not reflective of the fandom and the fandom shouldn't be reflective of the show and that's what i'm trying to put in my head right now so the show is what it is the fandom is what it is but for now as of this top 10 list slavery universe just kills the fucking competition and takes number two before i destroy all your hopes and dreams let's let me let me just give a little bit of an honorable mention to the cartoons that I don't know, deserved to be talked about, but just couldn't make the list. Shows that I personally would have loved to f squeeze somewhere onto the list, but I just couldn't. And shows that if I don't give an honorable mention to, I will have a riot on my hands. Who's gonna help when the ginger overwhelms and the mystery is a pile of high? Who's gonna be around, never gonna let you down when you run a wild ride? Your treasure always by your side. Chased by a SWAT team for six city blocks. Duh.
Beast Boy, you just saved the whole world from cow kidnapping UFOs? Yeah, I'm not really sure what just happened. Yes, today was the very weird and confusing and mystifying and somewhat uncomfortable and yet strangely familiar. Oh, it's okay, little one. The important thing is you. One miracle is enough for me today. I was so afraid something bad would happen to you and I wouldn't be there to protect you and I don't want to lose you again. Hey, I'm a tough gum. Nothing never happening to me. Never. I know, I'm... Girl, you phrased that so weird. I might have a concussion. <laughs> so, now, we have come to a... All y'all motherfuckers are waiting for. What is my number one cartoon of 2018? And some of you might have guessed it, but for those of you who didn't, my number one best cartoon that beat out every other show out of the goddamn freaking water is. Hilda. Yeah, I said it. I actually said it in my review. If there is no other cartoon that comes out and just dominates, Hilda is gonna win. And that was why I was so conflicted with all the other cartoons. Shira came out after Hilda, but still couldn't beat it. Castlevania, I was looking forward to it, but I just could not rank it above Sh Hilda. Hilda just wins in every conceivable way, like my goodness that was a show i i don't i don't even want <laughs> i don't even want to start getting into it right now just go and watch my review for hilda just just go and watch it that explains in greater detail than i ever could have of how i feel towards this show this is what a cartoon is supposed to be like that is the simplest way to say it. I have never had a show transport me back into my childhood as effectively as this has. And I still cannot even explain it. I cannot describe to you how this show made me feel. It was just magical in every conceivable way. I just... Wait, what did you think? The Dragon Prince was gonna be on this list? <laughs> you, you obviously haven't seen my video. But seriously, did you really think the Dragon Prince was gonna be number one? <laughs> oh god, I'm, I'm looking forward to this comment section, I really am. But seriously, seriously, Hilda is the best show of 2018. I want to tell myself, okay, no, it didn't have any deeper themes, it didn't have any overarching plot lines, it didn't have... That's what made it so great. It, I was in tears close to by episode two and it hadn't established deeper lore it hadn't it has 
I don't even know if it has world building. It's the world is what it is. And if a show can do that by episode two, almost making me cry, my eyes were watering as all hell. That is a miracle in and of itself to make me feel emotions. But yeah, Hilda, you take my number one best cartoons list of 2018. You freaking deserve it. Now sit on that shelf with the other greats and let's see what 2019 brings. I'm not hopeful, but hey, I wasn't hopeful for 2018 and it knocked my socks off. So if season two of Hilda is coming out this year, let's just hope I don't also say, oh, it's going to be number one. It disappoints and another show comes up and takes it. Well, let's hope that. I don't know. I'm tired. I'm confused. Thanks so Francis so much for clicking to watch. I'm afraid to ask you guys what you think because I know I ruffled some feathers. I know I annoyed a lot of people. But yeah, let me know what your top 10 cartoon of 2018 list is in the comment section down below. I'll be eagerly waiting to read those. Please, please, please be kind, be thoughtful. Don't bully anybody if their list doesn't match up to yours or if what they like is not what you like and no i'm not gonna do a top 10 worst cartoons list i don't actively go out and watch things that i don't like so making that list wouldn't even be fair to the shows because i just don't watch them so yeah thanks everybody so much for clicking to watch i love your faces i love you guys so much thank you all so much for being here and let's have another wonderful year together but with that being said this is tvc signing out